All right, guys, I wanted to teach you the one thing. If you're, get, if you're new into the business, this is the make it or break it for you. This is gonna determine your success in the beginning of this business. If there's one thing you wanna focus on getting good at, it's gonna be the approach. The approach is probably the most important thing for you, so you know, make sure you're paying attention, taking notes. I wanna walk you guys through what's called the credibility triangle. Understand every time the business, the products, or the company is being explained, if you're new, there always has to be a third party credibility, whether that's an upline or whether that's a tool. There's always has to be something. Take the pressure off yourself and put it on the tool. So how this works is every situation that the video is being talked about, there's always gonna be three people. You, your prospect or friend, upline slash tool. Here's how it works. Between you and your friend, there's what you call a trust relationship. Between you and your friend, there's a trust relationship. They trust you enough to take time out of their day to come check out what you have going on. Now the next link between you and your upline is there's an edification relationship. You need to learn how to edify your upline, edify the tool and talk it up. That way your friend knows that they should, you know, they should be paying attention. And the missing link, here's the missing link between the upline and the prospect is the credibility. When you talk the person up and you make them seem valuable, now your friend or prospect has a reason why they need to be paying attention because they know this is the one who has the information. This is the person who's gonna answer the questions and this is the person or the tool that is gonna help explain everything further detail. It's a credibility triangle. Understand it's important for you guys to learn how to use this when you're first getting started in the business. Now what I wanna walk you guys through is the approach. How to go out there and book an appointment. Understand, I learned from my first mentor, a guy that was making $4.6 million a year in this industry. He said every time the business product or company is being talked about, it always has to be centered and gravitated around that person's needs. Everyone doesn't need to make money. Everyone doesn't need to get healthier. Some people need more time. Some people need to develop better skills. Your job is to figure out how can I help this person? Because you can't help someone if you don't know what they need help with. Before you can approach them, before you can share the company or the product or the opportunity, you need to find those driving forces on why they need Veo. And what I'm gonna do is teach you a way the most effective way I've learned from being in the industry for the last three years on how to go out there and communicate with people and find the reasons why. And that's called FORM, F-O-R-M. FORM stands for family slash from, O stands for occupation, R stands for recreation, and M stands for motivation slash money. Here's how it is, it's kind of like an outline for how your conversation should go with your friends. Every time, get in the habit, every time you start talking to people, start forming them. Here's how it works. If you bump into them and you know them, or you haven't seen them in a while, or it's been a while, start talking to them about their family. If I start, if I bump into Brandon, I haven't seen Brandon in a while, I'm gonna say, hey Brandon, how you doing? How's your family doing? How's your mom and dad? What are they up to these days? How's their work going? How's your brother doing? How, what, is, what is he up to? I'm just gonna start talking. And then from there, once I run out of those types of questions, I'm gonna move over to occupation. You know, work and school. Brandon, are you working? Where do you work at? How long have you been working there? Do you like working there? Does it pay well? Occupation can also mean school. Where are you going to school? What are you studying? How long have you been going there? Do you like that major? Does it interest you? What are your plans with that major after you graduate? Recreation. What do they like to do for fun? So when you're not working, when you're not going to school, what do you like to do? Do you like to play sports? Do you like to work out? Do you like to go run? Do you, you know, it could be anything, whatever they like to do for fun. You might find that they might just be into competitive knitting. It doesn't really matter, just recreational types of things. And your job is to be what's called needs aware. Pay very close attention to what they're saying because they're gonna tell you the reasons why they need Veo when you're forming your friends. And then through the FDO and the R, you're gonna find their motivation and you're gonna learn that some people are gonna need more money. Now let's say you don't know the person, you bump into them for the first time, you're out at a social gathering or you're walking around school or in class, then you can say, hey listen, where are you from? What's it like over there? How long did you live there for? When did you move over here? And then it's the same thing. Once you talk about from and the area that they're from, you can go into occupation. So are you working a job? Where are you working? Are you going to school? What are you studying? Where are you going to school? 
What do you like to do for fun? What do you like to do with your free time? And then you're gonna find the things that motivate and you're gonna find the reasons why they need bail. Just be needs aware, pay very close attention, make mental notes when you hear them. Some people are gonna tell you straight up that hey, I'm working at this place, I've been working here for too long and I hate it. I, and then here's the thing, if you show them a way out, they're probably gonna take it. So be close, you know, pay close attention from form. Once you know the reasons why, then you can help them. How the approach goes, very, very simple. You will need to learn to leverage the things you have right now. Leverage, leverage the fact that you're working with a startup company. Leverage the fact that you're working with people or you are working directly with the CEO. So for example, if I was talking to Brandon and I formed Brandon, I found out that he doesn't like his job and he needs more money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Brandon up and say, hey Brandon, were you serious the other day when you told me that you were looking for more money or that you didn't like your job? He's gonna say, yeah. I'm gonna say, hey, listen, well, I think I found something that I can help you out. I think I found a way I can put more money back into your pocket. He's gonna say, well, you know, how? Tell me more. I'm gonna say, well, listen, I just got introduced to a guy named Burt Green. He is the CEO of a startup company and he's looking for people to help launch it in your area. Now, when I thought about people who I wanted to share this with, your name came to mind first, but here's the thing, I can only tell a few people about it and I wanted to know if you wanted to learn more about this. Stop right there.